pretty cool. We come to McDonald's and they have wireless chargers on the table. Oh, now it's off. Oh, it's stopping. We gotta there make sure, goes. there it goes. It's charging on the table at a McDonald's. Pretty cool. It's the weirdest McDonald's I've ever been in. This is all solar. <laughs> Charging stations on tables? Strange. Welcome to another edition of Florida Fun and More. I am here in Disney in the uh, Magic Kingdom. I always call it Disney World, but it's actually called Disney Magic Kingdom. Rondi is here with me once again. We have not seen her in a while, but she is with us and uh, she's gonna show me around a little bit and uh, help me guide me because I'm old. So, I'll. So we're at Walt Disney World today and we're going to try to do all four parks all in one day. One of the things I've talked about many times about Disney World compared to Disneyland is uh, the castle. That's the most noticeable thing I've noticed more than anything. Because the castle in Disneyland is little. It's like maybe story and a half maybe two stories tall this thing is massive so if you go to disneyland in california anaheim you're going to notice right off the bat the castle is nothing like this castle back here buzz lightyear is only 50 minutes that's actually not that bad i don't think 50 minutes is not bad at all. The people mover. It had a 10 minute a wait, we had to ride it. Spacecraft to monster labs. There's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Trek. No progress in the inspired Capcom. And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny turn for here to come to the inside. You're gonna swing to the outside. They'll make the sharp turn, trying to make it around the track as fast as they can. Well, we see Tron is coming along quite nicely and can't wait to ride that ride. These are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. So you can't see me right now, but we're actually in Space Mountain, riding around. That's how dark it is in here. You can't see anything. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Top aboard and launch high above. Look, MR Ducks. Seeing wings? Well, I'll be. That's a Disney duck right there. That ain't Donald. Andy has informed me that she would like one of these purses. $225 for a coach purse. That says Walt Disney. What are these bags up here, Ronnie? Which of those? Why is it people? I don't know. Yeah, was that a bird? $495. Four ninety five. Four hundred and ninety five dollars? Yeah. Wow. This is five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. That's cute. Four fifty, that's cute though. How much? Ninety nine dollars to keep off or just wallet? Card holder. Yeah, I need that. This shirt is only what's that say? One seventy five? Sorry, Mickey, I don't love you that much. Or Winnie the Pooh stuff over here. We don't see a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff in the parks, really anywhere. How much are those? $2.98. Two ninety nine. I like the backpack. Oh. This one is $2.68. Two sixty eight for the backpacks. <laughs> what are those? It's really That's what I have. Oh, okay. And how much are those? These are 188. 188. The backpacks are 268. 260? 268. 268. Alright, gotta make sure the prices are correct. 348. 
Three forty for the big duffel bag. Three forty-eight. Three forty-eight. One twenty-eight for the plastic pouch. One twenty-eight for the plastic pouch. I apologize, folks. Today I forgot our mics. Two forty-eight. Two forty-eight for that. And then the patches for like twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for those. This is all new stuff that's here in the park. You can get this stuff here in the park and in Springs, she says. So, wherever you prefer. I mean, if you're in Springs, go there. Got some old school stuff in here. I remember Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. That was like one of my favorite rides. They still do have it in Disneyland, but no longer here in Disney World. A bucket hat. You like bucket hats, Rondi? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. How much is that? $44.99. I don't know. All you Starbucks fans, Disney has her own Starbucks cup. What's this dress from right now? Dress? Yeah, the dress. Well, does it remind you of Princess Fiona? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. You know one thing I've noticed about Disney compared to Universal? I don't have anybody going, hey, Corella DeVille. Why is that? I'm in Disney. Uh, these things that we just looked at in the uh, shops. What's your favorite? Which one? Which one would you spend the money on? Would Would you be inclined to buy any of those? Let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll check it out. Right, now move on. Yeah, you know, it's hot out here. You know, I have to tell you, if you're coming to Florida and you think that the resort areas, the whole, you know, whether it be Universal or or Walt Disney World, and you think that in the summertime you're gonna find someplace cool, it ain't gonna happen. So just keep that in mind. It's hot everywhere in Florida. One thing I'm gonna tell you, um, when you come to the parks and you have a, whether a pacemaker or something like that, you know, you're concerned about that, what they usually will do, you gotta make sure you have your card. So you can bring your card and show them that you have that and then you will go to one of the sides and they will wand you down from the bottom of where your pacemaker or, you know, like I have a monitor in me, but that's uh, one of the things. So if you're concerned about coming to a theme park, that's one of the things I do here. You do not want to leave your hotel, your home, anywhere without one of these things. These are a lifesaver. If you get hot, this will help you. So here in Animal Kingdom, and what we are actually doing, we're park hopping, park hopping, is that a little better? We're doing that, and all we're doing is one ride per park. These are the advantages you have when you have the one that gets you in for free. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll have some fun. So we're going to go ride a roller coaster. We're going to go ride Everest. And then we will move on to uh, studios. Ronnie, is that the tree of undenying love? Oh, the tree of life. The tree of life. Sometimes it just gets so hot and you just, you gotta put the cooling towel on. You just got to, it's just too hot. Ron, you happy to be front row? So we just got off Everest. Fun ride. I forgot how much fun it was. We got front row, which is awesome. Best place to be. We got stuck a little bit, sitting, waiting to go backwards. So that was kind of freaky, but we got to see lots of places around Orlando. You can see Epcot up there. You can actually see Rondi's apartment from up there. Pretty cool. I do you want to make a warning to anybody that is coming to Animal Kingdom? This is the hottest park of all the four parks that are here in Disney World. So just plan ahead. Like I've got my cooling towel on and that's for a reason because it's really hot in here. So just make yourself comfortable. Used to be when she was younger, I don't know if you have a kid that's like this, 
but whenever you go near all these carny games that are out here like whack-a-mole all our uh, our uh, racer buddy jack cook was the guy that actually invented that i believe and uh if you got a kid you can't go anywhere within like five feet 10 feet 20 feet 30 feet of one of these carny games without them going can i play a carny game Luckily, she's won every game out here and every prize, so she doesn't need any more prizes, right? I have all of them as of a month ago. All of them. It's pretty amazing. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hong Park. He says this building smells like Halloween Horror Nights. Hey, don't forget Halloween Horror Nights starts. Uh, September 4th, 2nd. Second. Second. Thank you for correcting me. So only 32 days from now, this is today, it's the yeah, first. Should be fun. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Not our dino. So Rondi's petrified of that ride. She wants to go to Disneyland and I'm happy to report that ride is rebranded in California. Yes, yeah, it's Indiana Jones. We knew that. Yeah. So it's not that scary at all. It's the dinosaur side, I like it. Uh, but it's also in the dark. Out there, it's not. I like this one better than the Indiana Jones. I didn't like that one. Part two, done. Well, part number three, studios. Let's go ride some rock and roll. These kind of look like costumes you would wear to work out here. Another new item here at Walt Disney World. 50th anniversary pullover. How much is that, Rondi? $74.99. Hmm. Those are cute. Hmm. Some tips for you. If you are coming here to Orlando to the parks and stuff and you just pulled into your uh, cruise ship port and did all this stuff you decide well I'm gonna go to Orlando after my cruise or before and you don't have a car you can always get an uber there was a long line of ubers lined up to uh, pick up people and take them um, and we left to I think we left to end with kingdom so so you can always get an uber they do have a place for them. Well, you know me, it's all about the rock and roll. We're getting ready to go rock and roll on the roller coaster. Right, Rondi? So unfortunately, we uh, waited an hour to you know, hang out for our lightning time to get on rock and roller coaster. And it's broke down. I'm bummed, the only ride I really want to ride today. We have to ride at least one ride and it's gonna be this one, I hope. get to ride rock and roller coaster but we did get to ride Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway right what it called? I like that ride I think it's a lot of fun it wasn't what I wanted to ride but I like it so I can't complain now we're on our way to the next park so we got um Four parks in one day buttons from Ashland. I'm out here. She did a really good job. Look at her writing. That was really good. So, 
Thanks, Ashlyn. We appreciate it. Last bark, and it is uh, looking pretty nasty. So we're gonna try to get one rod down and be done. Oh, oh she wants to play big non. I'll see what I can find. Maybe a pretzel. <laughs> It is not looking very promising for Harmonious tonight. This is a, a light show in itself as it flashes all over the place out here at Walt Disney World's Epcot. Last ride of the night is going to be Figment. Oh, I don't run into that thing. <laughs> This is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Now, here's a real open house. Come on in. The filet is good? Always. I don't like the soup. What is the soup? It's like a potato, cheddar, bacon soup. It's just a weird consistency. Mm. But the filet is good, as always. Well, just as we were leaving the park, oh, it decided to rain. And I'm talking rainstorm, big time. Wind is blowing. Rain is sideways, it's not gonna be fun trying to get to the car. Let's stay here till the heart. That's gonna do it for us. Gotta get out of here because it's lightning, raining, and it's not fun out here right now. So we're gonna get out of here. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. Uh, we would really appreciate it. And if you don't, I'm gonna have to put you out here in the rain unless you get wet. So all right, from Epcot, Walt Disney World Resort. She's Rondi, I'm Randy. See you guys later. It is pouring down rain. I mean, it's absolutely, <laughs> just got drenched with an umbrella. It didn't matter, it was just blowing it all over the place.